الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى before we begin reading the hadith we want to just quickly talk about the order of the book as maybe one is familiar with uh, how Bukhari is set up Sahih al-Bukhari or how Sunan Abu Abu Dawood is set up so let's talk about how this book is set up then he has a number of maqasid a number of maqasid in fact 10 al maqsad al ashir and we're going to translate qast qast here maqsad maqsad with a kasr on the scene is a goal or an aim a purpose it's kind of weird to translate that 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 here is that so inshallah we're going to translate it as section basically al maqsad al awwal fil aqida and then al maqsad al thani the second section fi al ilm wa masadiruh what are what is knowledge regarding knowledge and its sources al maqsad al thalith fil ibadat then we're going to talk about acts of worship. Al Maqsad al Rabi' the fourth fi ahkam al Usra, rulings related to the family, marriage and divorce, and so on. Al Maqsad al Khamis fi al Hajat al Dururiya, regarding uh, necessities, and things which are extremely necess- necessary. Al Maqsad al Sadis. The sixth uh, section, fil mu'amalat, interactions with others. Al maqsad al sabi' fil imama wa shu'un al hukum. Regarding leadership and matters that deal with being a judge and giving rulings. Al maqsad al thamin fil raqa'iq wal akhlaq wal adab. Dealing with heart softeners and character and manners. Al maqsad al tasi' fi tarikh wa sira wal manaqib. Dealing with history and biography, the biography of the Prophet ﷺ, wal manaqib, and virtues. Virtues of the Sahaba and virtues of the Quran and virtues, so on. Al maqsad al ashir. Well, akhir, the final section, fil fitin, dealing with trials and tribulations, things to deal with the last day, and even before that. Then he says here, وَيَنْضَوِي تَحْتَ كُلِّ مَقْصَدْ كُتُبْ So we have sections, and then under each section we have kutub, books. وَتَحْتَ كُلِّ كِتَابْ Fusul, and under every book are fusul, chapters, I guess, or another way of doing sections. And wa fi kulli fasl, the singular of fusul, fi kulli fasl, abwab, which we would say chapters. So we're going to have, just writing it down real quick, we're going to have maqsad, Inside of that, you're going to have kitab. Inside of that, you're going to have a fossil. Inside of that, you're going to have a bab. And under the bab, you have a hadith. Right? That's a little sloppy there. I see that. I'll just write a hadith. My pen is... A hadith. Tayyip. Just so we know how the book is set up as we see it. 
Now, here we come to the Al Maqsid Al Awal, Al Maqsid Al Awal, Al Maqsid Al Awal, Aqeedah, the first section dealing with Aqeedah. Underneath that, you have Kitab Al Awal, inside of this first Maqsid, Al Maqsid Al Awal, we have Al Kitab Al Awal. The first book, the first book inside here is Al Islam Wal Iman. Al Islam Wal Iman. It is assumed, those who are here, that they know how to read and that they have some familiarity with uh, Arabic words and definitions and some a little bit here and there. It's not that. Um, Someone who doesn't know any Arabic is going to come in here and learn uh, Arabic from the beginning in this class. No, you have to have some skills. You've been through some courses and you're trying to improve your reading on your own. And if anyone, if I miss a word or overlook it, just thinking that everyone knows it, then no problem. Ask me and I'll try to uh, cover that, inshallah. So then we have here Bab. Now we see we don't have a fossil here. There's no fossil. Just Bab. Straight to Bab 1. Arkan of Islam al Iman. The pillars, Arkan, the plural of Rukin. Arkan al Islam wal Iman. The pillars of Islam and Iman. Then we see here hadith number one. And the very first thing is we see this cough. And we talked about that, and that is that the qaf is mutafaqun alayh, meaning it's agreed upon by Bukhari and Muslim. So he says, An ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma qal. On the authority of ibn Umar, and Umar is mamnu min as sarf, and so this is why, even though it is mudafi to ibn, has a fatta there. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma may Allah be pleased with Abdullah and his father Umar qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam buni al-islam ala khams buniya is the fil majhul the it is in the majhul form meaning the passive form Islam is built, therefore al Islam is the fa'il. It has a dhamma there. Buni al Islamu ala khamsin. Islam is built upon five. Islam is built on five. Some of the hadith say ala khamsatin with a ta marbuta. And this is just do the, the meaning is the same. It could be. Uh, ala khamsati uh, arkan or ala khamsin and it could just be meaning something else like a lot of times we see Islam is built on five pillars pillars would be understood there is no word for pillars here there is no word for pillars when it comes to the hadith it's just understood buni al-islam ala khamsin shahadati and la ilaha illallah why does Shahada have a kasr here? Because it's going back to Allah. Buni al Islamu ala shahadati and la ilaha illallah. The testimony that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Wa anna Muhammadan Rasulullah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Wa iqami salat and iqama has a kasr here also going back to Allah. Islam is built ala iqami salat. Islam is built upon the establishment of the salah. Wa ita is zakat, and it's built upon the giving of zakat. Right? Iqam from qaf wa mu qaf wa mim. Right? Uh, form four. Aqama yuqimu to establish something. Right? And we know that establishing the prayer is done by. Uh, the arkan of salat and the wajibat of salat and the mustahabat of salat 
in the masjid for the men and so on and so forth. The Sheikh Saadi explains in his tafsir. Wa ita is the cat from Aleph Ta Ya or Aleph Maksura. Right? Aleph Ta Aleph Maksura. Ata. Here, Ita, Ata, you, you, T, from form four again, Ita is the Ka. Again, with the Kasra going back to Allah. It's built upon the giving of the Ka. Wal Hajji was Ramadan. So all of these Kasras are here going back to Allah. It's built upon these five. Right? Saumi Ramadana. Ramadan is memnu min asarf, therefore it is majroor with a kasra. So this hadith, an ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that ibn Umar narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, buni al-Islam ala khams, Islam is built upon five, shahadati an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan rasulullah, the testimony that there is none worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah wa iqam is salat and the establishment of the prayer wa ita is zakat and the giving of zakat wa hajj and the pilgrimage wa sawmi ramadan and fasting ramadan and this hadith is in Bukhari number 8 and in Muslim number 16. Inshallah, that's clear. The goal for you is to be able to read this hadith. To be able to read this hadith on your own and understand it. Are you going to understand every single minute detail and aspect? There's whole There are whole books written on this one hadith. 200, 300 pages. You're not going to understand everything. But inshallah ta'ala, you'll... This is a start that I can read this hadith now in Arabic. I can go find out where it's at, research it, look at it more, and inshallah do better. Hadith number two, and we see that there is no qaf here. It's not mutafaqun alayh, right? So where is it? Inshallah, we'll see at the end. This hadith is a longer hadith. عن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله عنه معاذ بن جبل May Allah be pleased with him قال He said كنت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في سفر I was with كنت I was مع النبي with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم في سفر in travel in a travel on a trip فأصبحت يوما قريبا منه فأصبحت فا here so أصبحت I woke up one day I woke up أصبحت from صبح the morning time أصبحت I woke up يوما one day قريبا منه close to him I woke up one day and I was close to him ونحن نسير and we were Moving along from seeing ya ra seer to travel to move along to go along. Wanahnu nasir and we were moving. Fakultu. So I said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Akhbirni bi amalin. Akhbirni inform me from Khabara. Akhbara yukhbiru form 4 Akhbirni bi amalin Inform me of an action Yudakhiluni It will enter me That action Yudakhiluni From dakhala yadakhalu But here form 4 again Yudakhiluni al jannah Jannah has a fatayr Because it is The object of the verb the maf'ulun bihi, yudkhilni where? Al-jannata. It will enter me into, into jannah. 
ويباعدني من النار يباعدني from بعين دال like we know the word بعد and بعيد far after and بعيد far away يباعدني coming from form three يباعدني and it will push me far away from the fire it will distance distance me from the fire he said akhbirni bi amalin yudkhiluni al jannah inform me of an action that will enter me into jannah wa yubaiduni min an nar and distance me from the fire qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laqad saaltani an azim laqad here lam is a form of emphasis wa qad is another form of emphasis meaning for sure saaltani Sa'ala, sa'alta. You have asked me, me. You have asked me an azim. You have asked me about a great matter. Wa innahu la yasirun ala man yassarahu Allahu alayh. Wa innahu, and indeed it, inna, here again a form of emphasis. La yasirun, lam, another form of emphasis. Indeed, it is surely or truly Yasir from Yasin Ra to be easy, something which is easy. In the Mal Usri Usra, in the Mal in the ayat, I can't say it right now. Uh, with every difficulty, there is a ease, Yusra here, Yasir. وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَصِيرٌ Indeed, it is very easy. عَلَى مَنْ يَسَّرَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ Upon the one, عَلَى مَنْ يَسَّرَهُ يَسَّرَ is to make something easy. Not to be easy, but to make it easy. يَسَّرَهُ That Allah makes it easy. يَسَّرَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ That Allah makes it easy for him. So indeed, you have asked me about something which is great, and indeed it is easy for the one that Allah makes it easy for him. Ta'budu Allaha wa la tushriku bihi shay'a. That you worship Allah and you do not associate partners with him. Ashraka yushriku, form four of Sheen Raqqa. Right, Allah loved the Jalala has a fatayr because it is the maf'ulun bihi. Ta'budu Allah. Wa la tushriku bihi shay'a. And shirk usually comes with this ba. Usually comes with this ba. Wa la tushriku bihi shay'a. Do not associate anything as a partner with him. Wa tuqimu salata and establish the prayer. Wa tu'ti zakata and to give the zakat. Here, this because of this ya, we do not put the dhamma to to you. No, that's hard to say. To to you, so we just say to to is zakat, right? What tasumu Ramadan and that you fast Ramadan. Here, Ramadan has a fata, not because it's memnu minasarf as a fata, because it's the mafulun bi, the object of the verb. What do you fast? You fast Ramadan. What to hajjul beta? Likewise, to hajjul beta. And we see all of these have the fatta because they are all maf'ul and bihi to their appropriate verbs. So you fast Ramadan and you make pilgrimage to the house. Thumma qal, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he said, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send salat and salam upon him. He said, Ala adulluka ala abwab al khair. Then, thumma, he said, Shall I not inform you? Ala a is a question. A is a question. Then, la is a negation. Adulluka. Adulluka from da 
dal lam, dalil, like the word dalil, to show something, to guide something, to direct dalil, an evidence, right? Or a guide or a proof. Adulluka, to show you. Should I not show you? Should comes from the a. Uh, the la is not. Adulluka, to show you. So should I not show you or guide you or direct you? Ala abwabul khair, to the doors of good. Should I not show you to the doors of good? Asomu junnatun. Fasting is a junna, a shield. And we see here we have a footnote, so we'll go down, inshallah. This is the tat that we talked about that comes from the author. He says, Hadi hi arkan al Islam. These are the pillars of Islam. Wahiya tamathalul ibadat al qawliya wal amaliya. التي يتوجه بها العبد إلى خالقه تعالى وهي and they تمثل العبادات they are the examples of worship القولية والعملية of statements and actions ibada acts of worship which are statements such as the shahada والعملية and actions such as the salah and zakah and Hajj, and even fasting. Alati, which yet the wajahu are directed biha al abd, which he directs the the abdu the the worshipper he directs them ila khaliqihi taala to his creator the Most High. Mu'linan biha ubudiyatahu. Mu'linan from Ain Lam Noon Alan Ilan to uh, broadcast to make a uh, uh, to announce something, right? Announcing with them or by them by doing them, Obudiyatahu his servitude. What is Islamihi? Or what is Islamahu Asif? What is Islamahu announcing and showing his submission? Li awamir lillahi ta'ala to li awamir the plural of amr, the plural of amr command. Li awamir lillahi ta'ala. His he announces with these acts of worship, both the ones in the statement and actions. His servitude, his worship of Allah, and his submission to to him through his commandments, through the commandments and and of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Wahiya wahduha ghayra kafiya malam tusahibha arkan al iman. He says wahiya and they, meaning the acts of worship, wahduha. By themselves, like when we said, La ilaha illallah, wahtahu la sharika, wahtahu meaning alone, wahtaha alone by themselves, ghayru kafiyah, they are not sufficient, kafiyah, right? They are not from kafiyah, comes from kaf fa out of maksura, they are not sufficient, ma lam tusahibha. As long as they don't accompany or are not accompanied, or can of iman, the pillars of iman. So if a person does salat and fasting and all of that, but he does not have the pillars of iman, then they're not good by themselves. They're not sufficient. Thumaltizam bi tashri illahi taala, and then al iltizam from la. They mean this is form eight. Al iltizam by sticking to, by clinging to, bi tashri illahi taala the legislation of Allah the Most High. Al yatbutu alaqat al Muslim bi ghairihi. 
then he must stick to the legislation of Allah, الذي, which yadbitu alaqatahu, which yadbut from dab, dad ba ta, dad ba ta, has to do with uh, tying something down or holding it and restraining it. So this is what keeps the alaqa, the connection of the Muslim with other than him. Fil muamalat in the interactions that he does with people and buying and selling and renting and, and borrowing and uh, marrying and divorcing and, and so on. Wal akhlaqiyat and the manners of character. So let's try to translate this a little quicker and clearer. Islam. These are the pillars of Islam. And they are examples of worship of, of with, by statements and actions. Which the Worshipper directs towards his creator, the Most High. Mu'linan biha, announcing with them or by them. Ubudiyatahu, his worship or his servitude. Wistislamahu, and his submission. Li awamirillahi ta'ala, to the commands of Allah, the Most High. Wahiya wahtahu, wahtuha, ghayru kafiyatin. And they are by themselves not sufficient. Ma'lam. As long as the pillars of Iman are not accompanying them, then they're not sufficient. And then by sticking to and clinging to the legislation of Allah the Most High, that which controls Muslim, the connection or the relationship of the Muslim with other than him. In interactions and matters of character. Let's go back. He says, وَصَدَّقَتُ and charity تُطْفِئُ الْخَطِيئَةَ كَمَا يُطْفِئُ الْمَاءُ النَّارَ الصَّدَقَ charity Tutfi'u from ta fa, and you would look it up with a alif maksura, and the hamza will appear. This is something you need to learn in sarf. Wasadakatu tutfi'u al khati'a. Charity wipes out khati'a from also kha ta alif maksura, meaning sins, khata, mistakes, wipes out mistakes. Khata could be a sin or it could be a mistake depending on the context. And of course, sins are mistakes. وَصَدَقَةُ تُطْفِئُ الْخَطِيئَةَ They wipe out or they put out uh, sins. كَمَا يُطْفِئُ الْمَاءُ النار. Just like water puts out the fire. So sadaqa puts out, wipes out, closes. You might say itfa al do like turn off the lights, right? To kill that, to, to cut that connection, right? So sadaqa puts out sins or gets rid of sins just like water gets rid of the fire. Was salatu arrajuli min layl and the prayer of a man in the middle of the night. Was salatu rajuli. The prayer of a man, min jof layl in the middle of the night. Jof meaning something hollow, right? The middle of something, al-layl, al-jof al-layl. So this is from the abwab al-khayr, sadaqa and salat fi jof al-layl. Qal, thumma tala. So Mu'adh ibn Jabal, he says, thumma tala. Then he recited tala from ta la lam. Alif Maksura. That's how you would look that word up. Then he recited Surah Sajda 
16 and 17. Then the Prophet ﷺ recited these ayat. Tatajafa from Jim Wow or from Jim Fa Aleph rather. Aleph Maksura. Jim Fa Aleph Maksura. Right? And it means to uh to forsake something, to leave something, to abstain from something. Junubuhum, Junub from Janab, Jim, Noon, Baal, meaning the side. Ala Madaji. Madaji comes from Dad Jim Ain, and it means Dajaa means to lay one's side down, to lay one on one's side, right? So Madja, 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 Madja is. I'm trying to say it properly. Here. Give me a second. Let me clear my speech. Mudje. Mudje is the singular, and it means the place where you lie down, similar to masjid. Is a place where you make sajda. And then you have masajid. Same pattern. Madaje masajid. Masjid madje. The place where you lie down. So they forsake their sides from their madajit, from their beds, until he reached Balagha, until he reached Ya'malun from Surah to Sajda. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa said, Ala ukhbiruka, should I not inform you? And we've been through this. Ala ukhbiruka, ala, a is a question, la is a negation. Ukhbiruka, should I not inform you? Bi ra's al amr. Of the head of the affair. Should I not inform you of the head of the affair? Kullihi, all of it. Wa amud, wa amudihi, and its pillar. Amud, I mean dal, its pillar. Wa dirwati sanamihi, and the uppermost of its hump. Like a camel has a hump, this is what it's called. Dirwati sanam. Right, Dirwati Sanam. Should I not inform you of the head of the matter, all of it, and its pillar? Well, Dirwati Sanami and the apex or the uppermost part of the hump, pulled to Bala. So Mu'adh he said, Of course, Bala, of course, Ya Rasulullah. Bala is the way to answer something. Uh, like a negative question. I like hear this negative question. Allah Should I not inform you? If you say Nam, yes, meaning yes, you should not inform me. That's what it would mean in Arabic. And you find many, even Arabs today, Allah Mustaan, they don't know this. So they say, Should I not? So you say, for instance, Allah bi ahkam al hakimin is not Allah the wisest of those of the judges you say bala of course if you say nam you mean yes allah is not is not right and so bala means of course so here here he asked an, a, a question in the negative form allah should i not inform you bala of course of course you should inform me you say nam means no you should not inform me Bala ya Rasulullah, of course, O Messenger of Allah, Qala, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ratsul Amri al Islam. The head of the matter is Islam. Wa Amuduhu as Salah, and its pillar is Salah, Wa Dirwatu Sanamihi al Jihad. And the hump of the camel, the apex, the top part here is al Jihad. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ala ukhbiruka bi malaki dhalika kullihi. Should I not inform you? Be with malaki. Malaki from Mim Lam Kaf. Here, like the word mulk or malik or malik, meaning king and owner and all of this here. Malak means the foundation. 
Allah ukhbiruka bi malaki dhalika Should I not inform you with the foundation of that? Kullihi All of it Before we go, let's go down to the footnote inshallah ta'ala He says malaki dhalika ay bi ma yamlikul insan bihi dhalika kulli Malaki, here the foundation of that A, A here means meaning Like I-E Meaning Bima Should I inform you Bima yamlikul insanu How can a person own or control Bihi dharika kulli How can a person control all of that How can a person uh, yeah, How can a person control all of that or how can what is the foundation of that? How can a person get that? He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Kultu Mu'adi I said, Bala ya Rasulullah. Of course, O Messenger of Allah. Of course, again, Bala because of Allah Ukhbiruka. Should I not inform you? Bala, of course you should. If you would have said nah, I mean no, don't inform me. Fa'akhada bi lisanihi. So he took his tongue. Waqal, he took Mu'az's tongue. Waqal, he said, Akhada to take. Akhada ya'khudu to take. Lisan is your tongue. He took his tongue and he said, Kuffa alayka hadha. Kuffa. Kuffa meaning to control. To take control from kaf fa. Right? Kaf fa meaning to prevent, to check. To curb Kuffa alayka hadha Kuffa alayka hadha Control this Take control of this Prevent this Faqultu Mu'ad says So I said Ya Nabi Allah O Prophet of Allah Wa inna in, And indeed we La mu'akhaduna This lamb is a lamb of emphasis وَإِنَّ لَمُ أَخَذُونَ From أَخَذَ We will be taken, we will be taken مُ أَخَذُونَ We'll be taken, meaning we'll be taken to account بِمَا With what? نَتَّكَلَّمُ بِ With what we say We'll be taken into account with what we say, for what we say فَقَالْ So he said ثَقِلَتْكَ أُمُّكْ ثَقِلَتْ ثَقِلَتْ is from tha kaf lam and it means to be to bereave to bereave to be saddened like when you when someone dies then the people around them are bereaved they are saddened so thakilatka ummuk so may your mother ummuk may your mother be bereaved of you meaning this is a word not that he wanted him to die or anything like this but like are you serious? You know, this is this is like almost shameful that you don't realize that you'll be held accountable for what is the, what what your tongue says. Takiletka ummuk, like it's getting his attention. It's getting his attention. And here, footnote, we'll go down there. It says takiletka a i e fakadat fakadatka, meaning may she lose you. Well, maksud. Right, well, maqsud, the intention here, this is from the word maqsud that we talked about, the qast, the intention. At-ta'ajjub min al-ghafla an hadha al-amr. It's amazing, it's a, it's a surprising that he is unaware of this affair. At-ta'ajjub min al-ghafla, surprising from the heedlessness an hadha al-amr, from the heedlessness of this affair, that he didn't know about this. So, he says, may your mother be bereaved of you, ya Mu'adh. Wahal yakubbu an-nasa finnar. Wahal, and will. Or it's a question mark, it doesn't have to be will, but here it's will. And will yakubbu nasa Will the people be dragged or placed on their faces from kebba, yakubbu, to place something on their face right to place something on their face Allah will him or to be drugged 
to be drugged ala wujuhihim will they be placed will the people be drugged or implanted on their ala wujuhihim on their faces finnar will they be planted in the fire on their faces o ala manakhirihim from noon khara on their noses on their nostrils will they be planted on their in the fire on their faces or on their noses illa hasaidu alsinatihim so what's going to get the people planted on their faces drug into the fire on their faces you won't just be thrown into the fire a person standing up like this this is the top this top of his the pen is his head and then he gets to just get thrown in the fire like this. No, he's going to be smashed on his face and drug into the fire. What's the reason for this? Illa except hasaidu from asad dal, meaning the results, the uh, the results, the uh harvest right the results the harvest what their hasaidu al sinatihim the the reaping or the harvesting of their tongues that's what's going to cause them to be in the fire this hadith as we said is not in bukhari and muslim it's in termidi Number 2,616. And Ibn Majah, number 3,973. And it is Sahih, as we said, whenever we talk about a hadith in the Sunan al Arba, it is the grading of Sheikh Al Albani. Inshallah, we're going to try to at least do one more. I don't want to go too long, but that took us longer. And you guys can tell me in the chat or in the comments of the video did i go into too much detail in arabic and you didn't need as much much comment or whatever did i repeat myself it's been a long time since i've done this so i'm not sure uh, and i see a, a comment here we'll get it in a minute inshallah first this hadith hadith number three and again we're not we don't have a cough or a kha or a meme there showing us not in mutafakun alayh is not a bukhari muslim this is an abi Umamata. Umamata is Mamnu Min Asarf. That's why the Fatah is there. On the authority of Abu Umama, Radiallahu Anhu, Anna Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sa'alahu Rajulun. That Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sa'alahu Rajulun. A man asked him, Faqal. So he said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Mal Iman, what is Iman? Qal, Ida Saratka, Hasanatuka. Either if or when, if sarratka from seen ra to make happy, sarra yasurru to make someone happy, right? Either sarratka hasanatuka, hasanatuka. If your good deed makes you happy, wasaatka from seen wow hamza. Seen, wow, Hamza. That's how you would look up that word. Where the sa'atka, sayyatuka. Sayya, we probably know that as being a sin. And if your sins make you feel bad, basically. If your sins cause you to feel bad. If your sins, if your good deeds make you happy. And your sins cause you sorrow. Your sins uh, displease you. You do the sin, but then afterwards you feel horrible that you did it. Fa'anta mu'min. Then you are a believer. If your good deeds make you happy and your evil deeds displease you, then fa'anta mu'min. Then you are a believer. Faqala, ya Rasulullah. So he said, O Messenger of Allah, mal ithum. What is the sin? What is the sin? Itham. Qala, he said, إِذَا هَاكَ فِي صَدْرِكَ شَيْءٌ فَدَعْهُ Either if 
Arwen Haka from Ha Wow Calf. And here it has to do with weaving something, weaving, like weaving a uh, string or thread or yarn. Here, if your heart, it's not steady, it's not sound, it's in and out, it's in and out, it's pul pulpating. In the haka fi sadrika shape, if your heart is not at rest, it's not at ease with something, shayun, in the haka fi sadrika shay, if something causes your heart to, you know, pulpate and not be firm, fada who, then leave it. Then leave it. Da who, right? Da who. Like the hadith, da ma yuribuk illa ma la yuribuk. Leave that which uh, doesn't can uh, doesn't cause you to doubt. The, leave that which makes you doubt for that which doesn't cause you to doubt. Da who? Then leave it. This hadith is in the mustadrak of Al Hakim, hadith number thirty-three, and al Zahabi. He said, Ala shartihima, according to their conditions, the conditions of the two of them, meaning Bukhari and Muslim. Because the whole thing of Mustadrak of Imam al Hakim is that he came and said there are certain hadith in the Sahihain of al Bukhari and Muslim which don't belong there, and there are hadith which do belong there. And so some of the hadith he said, no, these don't belong there. And then somebody said, no, they should have put these hadith in there as well. And they have agreed that this hadith is according to the conditions of Bukhari and Muslim. Then this one it says, one door, look at 315, hadith, the man, Bibli Look at hadith 315, look at hadith 3,336, look at hadith number 49 in Islam and Iman and Ihsan. These will also have other other um, points of benefit related to this chapter of al Qan al Islam and Iman. He's not going to bring everything here. Maybe this hadith in 315 is dealing with the al Qan of Islam and Iman, but it also is dealing with whatever else he's dealing with in this area. So maybe it's more prominent uh, dealing with the purity than it is with the pillars. So we put it in the chapter of purity and so on. And same thing with these others. Look at 67 in our Islam, 3560 in our Iman, and 3332 in Aftala Amal, the most virtuous of deeds. I said one through five, but I'm going to stop here. I think I talked too much. I don't know. If you guys could let me know in the comments, it would be most appreciative. Tilawa, yes. Tala Tilawa, yes, to recite. Any questions? Give it a few more seconds here. If anyone has a question about these three hadith, a word that was in them or how it was translated, what the root is, or why is it got a fatar kasra dhamma or something like that, let me know. Alhamdulillah. My goal would to be was to go over four pages, but we only went over two. <laughs> Inshallah. Allah yubarak fikum. Inshallah ta'ala. Next Monday, Bidnila Ta'ala, or if you're in America, next Sunday night. We'll meet back again, inshallah. And like I said, I'll adjust according to any comments that are left in the video. Uh, share and like uh, this with friends and family. Um, or if you have the book or you print out the PDF, which the links are available in the first two videos, then sit down and read it with your family and go over it kind of like what we just did and this is going to help you it's going to help it become firmer in your 
So if you have a couple brothers you can sit and go over it with, then go for go over it with it. Use your dictionary. If I skipped over a word or you feel like you want to do another word, then have your dictionary handy and go over another word with the people. And, and, and um, inshallah ta'ala, this is how you'll become a uh, good teacher and it'll be as well solid in your head. Jazakumullah khairan, subhanak allahum wa bihamdika, ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Next time, could put harakat when reading footnotes if possible. Ah. That's going to be difficult. That's the, putting, uh, putting vials on something, even if I was typing them, is difficult. Inshallah ta'ala. The main part is the text. The text is what we're going over. The footnotes are just beneficial so that you could read the book and know what it means. Uh, that's another level. Inshallah ta'ala. Maybe in the future. But as of right now, I know it's very difficult. I'm working on some books right now that I have to put the haraka on and it's a difficult task. Jazakum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.